We are back and we are at the final table of the Mandalore Open uh, San Antonio. My name is Dio Morales. I am the host of the Gold Squadron podcast. And today I am joined by the president and CEO of our sponsor for this round, Curled Paul Creatives. His name is Andrew Knuckles. How are you doing, Andrew? Hey, good. And Ready I'm, for a good round. Yes. And I am joined by Peter Fu. Thank you for that kind introduction, Dion. Uh, our primary goal today is to take a more journalistic approach for the broadcast of premier X-Wing events. At the front of the house, you'll see numerous updates to our UI, consistency in the format from match to match, and uh, a dedicated team member who's going to make sure what you see on screen is reflected <coughs> on the game state. Uh, this also means that we'll be trying to respect that fourth wall and not getting directly involved in judge-related issues. The only exception to this policy will be if the marshal requests footage for instant replay purposes. And to that end, can you tell us a little about the marshal and the floor team, Dion? Yep, our marshal today is Brent Wong. He is local Texas uh, player and TO. And our floor judges today are Mark Sebo, Gene Hogel, and Bobby Vowles. Our sponsor for the round, as I had mentioned earlier, is Curled Paw Creatives. Our final is sponsored by them, and Curled Paw Creatives is the leader in third-party acrylic tokens and templates. Whether you order their designs or commission your own, you will be sure that they will look and function great on the table. Go to curledpawcreatives.com to visit their shop and get yours today. Special thanks also to our general sponsor, Cascade Games LLC, the organizer and promoter of system open of this system open here at PAX South. Uh, Cascade Games, led by their uh, fearless leader, T Steve Caverman, have been a great asset to the X-Men community, allowing the Gold Squadron podcast uh, and myself to be the exclusive uh, uh, stream broadcasters at the event. Uh, they've been the most professional and generous uh, team that we've ever had the pro privilege of working with, from dropping power wherever we need it to making sure we get the media passes um, to get in early for setup. Uh, and lastly, Dion, uh, and lastly, Dion, huge thanks to your listeners uh, on Gold Squadron Podcast, um, the patrons, the sponsors. None of this could be possible without people like you. Well, I, I thank you for that. It was an adventure here. I'll talk on the podcast uh, that will be released probably on Tuesday um, about how how I got here. But the uh, the short story is the original flight was canceled. I had to take three planes and uh, several lo layovers in three different states to, to get here to get you guys this stream uh, because I love it and I, I'm internally thankful to my patrons and I want to make sure that uh, this happens. If you want to continue, if you want to support um, the streams. We're going to be in a bunch of different system opens. The uh, next one coming up in two weeks at Glendale, Arizona. Um, feel free to go to patreon.com. You can also become a Twitch Prime subscriber if you have Amazon Prime. You can connect your Amazon account to Twitch because they're owned by Amazon. You get one free Prime subscription a year, uh, excuse me, not a year, a month. And, uh, and you can just click a button, it throws a couple of bucks our way, and it doesn't cost you any more money uh, because it's just part of your Twitch, uh, excuse me, a part of your Amazon Prime subscription. And to that end, uh, Dion, even though it's been such a tr hectic travel, oh, a hectic time for you to travel with your family uh, and your wife and your child, it's amazing that you're able to be here. So also, our last special thanks to the wives and girlfriends of this yes, podcast. Amen. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, yeah. all of you, uh, for letting us come out and, and really experience this hobby to the fullest extreme. All right. So uh, we will have a two-hour final. We're going to get our floor judge here in a minute and just let us make sure they let us know right when the clock starts. Um, full two-hour final. Um, Andrew, let us know about um, Joel's opening. So um, we pretty much have uh, Joel Killingsworth uh, coming out of Birmingham, Alabama, uh, same as me. Uh, he is a co-host on our Birmingham Barons podcast. Uh, you'll also see Stephen Ford, uh, another host, um, in chat. And um, he's running uh, the Palf Aces, uh, Captain Your Inquisitor, and Quick Draw uh, with Advanced Optics. Um, and... Uh, he is currently undefeated for the whole weekend, um, and uh, you know I, I'm going to be biased, but I'm I'm going to be rooting for him pretty much the whole game. And that's fine. Sorry, AC Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so, and then we look at AC Yeager's list here. He has lost a total of two ships the entire tournament. 
That's 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 really low number. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's also perfect. So we have both undefeated players here at the top table. I mean, you, you couldn't write it better here. We got Rebels versus Imperials, Arc Dodgers versus Turrets and Bombs. Um, one of the things I looked here, and I was Joel was looking at the cards and just kind of thinking about his strategy here, um, and looking at his opening is actually doing something a little bit different than what we've th seen so far. What we've seen so far. Every round before this, at least what I've seen uh, from him being on stream and, and just seeing his games on table, he usually puts Inquisitor next to the shuttle, the shuttle yeah. um, in order to slow roll that way. It looks like he might plan on putting Quick Draw next to the shuttle. Um, to maybe protect Quick Draw from some of the bombs. I think that's what, what that might be. And well, as we predicted uh, pre-production, guys, he set up a shuttle side, and he's going to joust to get that EI bomb off. Yeah. And this has been an incredibly successful strategy for AC Acre, who, by the way, asked that we say hi to his squad, Squad 201, based out of Mexico City. Uh, AC has the Mexican flag uh, ready to go for if it, he wins this uh, the system open. And his entire team has been incredible. His colleague uh, came in second place in the hyperspace qualifier uh, and actually um, lost to Joel yep. at the finals of the hyperspace qualifier. One, so one, one heck of a game. And Joel, so Joel is on a tear right now. Joel's won the hyperspace qualifier, and he's in, in very good position yeah. to win the system open itself. Yep. So one thing, just looking at the matchup here, um, Inquisitor's going to have some work to do. He's the one that's going to have to be the most cagey, which is I think that's why uh, Joel does a different opening here. Yeah. Um, but Joel has a PS11. Nim mm -hmm. is PS10. If Joel can leverage the fact that he gets to move last there, that is his uh, advantage and his in for the win. Yeah. And, uh, you know, going into this, when you have such low health ships like, uh, like Inquisitor that is your late game ship. It has to stay alive. Um, uh, bombs are terrifying right. when they're essentially Start auto the damage. You ready? Three, two, one, go. And, and we've officially started the match. Uh, real quick, thank you so much Carganos, Carganos for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. We see the prompt when you sign up and it's really appreciated that you've mm -hmm. taken the time out of your day uh, to help support uh, this great effort by Dion and the Gold Squadron podcast. So it looks like uh, dials are getting down. Um, uh, AC has uh, has shown us in the past that he loves to just kind of get straight in there and get those bombs off as soon as he can. Um, uh, it's going to be uh, interesting. Yep, uh, Joel already just going to accept the joust on the shuttle. All righty, here we go. We've done it every round. Here we go again. Something, some that, that kind of sounded like something you guys do in your show there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll say it this week. We'll say it next week. We'll say it again. And we've done it for this round. Uh, let's do our predictions for this match. Or you know what? How about let's just say who do you want to win? Let 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 the audience be biased. Okay. <laughs> One for Joel Killingsworth. Two for AC Jaeger. And let's throw an extra number on there. Then we'll put a three if you think they have an advantage. Uh, the, maybe put. Hmm, Never mind. Just do one and two. Yeah. Who do you want to get win? Way too confusing, then. Joel <laughs> Killingsworth for the win for one and two for AC Jaeger. I'll be right back. I'm going to go tweak one thing. So we're looking at, uh, you know, obviously we get looks, looks pretty much like a straight joust out of the Bombers. Um, uh, Miranda and Nim. Nim's probably going to do something similar here. Uh, maybe even do a... Let's see, he is running genius, um, but I don't think you want to go ahead and pop off one of your genius bombs uh, so early in the match. Um, Inquisitor obviously going to pretty much stay out in left field and try and uh, try and snipe as long as he can until uh, until Miranda and Nim decide that uh, he probably needs to to bite the bullet. And I'm just tabulating these results. This is a lot of participation. Obviously, a lot of U.S. participation right now. <laughs> <laughs> One to the ninth power. Thank you so much. <laughs> Someone's put down Order 66. That's, that's pretty clever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peter. All right. Uh, Mexico City is waking up a little bit. Got some twos in here. You can't vote for Denguru. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. 
<laughs> Sorry, Dengaru doesn't doesn't work anymore. So quick draw here, slow rolling. Uh, gonna try to get a beat on AC Jaeger. I like the rock positions here for Joel. Yeah, he has some protection uh, from uh, from Nim and Miranda. It, it's a fairly tight cluster, um, and that'll that should probably help um, at least. Uh, keep him behind, uh, keep Inquisitor behind uh, Debris so he gets that extra dive from the TLT shots. And I, and I, I you know what, I, I hate the, I hate this, but but AC has set up in this very similar format, closing lanes with that cluster of death there. Um, I don't like it at all for Joel. Um, but that's why we have different opinions on this broadcast. Um, Dion and Andrew, good news for Joel, or once again, our, our podcast, our, our audience has been correct five out of the six times. Uh, no, it's more, more than that now. Six out of the seven? Yeah. Yeah, six yeah. out of the seven times so far. We have 30 votes in favor of Joel and 16 votes in favor of AC. Some of that may be biased towards Nim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think many people really like Nim at this point in the game. Um even with the genius uh, genius errata, uh, he is still a monster, and uh, he will uh, AC will probably show us the full extent of that uh, during this game. And while we're at it, while we're all in favor of spirited debate over the uh, state of the game, state of X Wing, uh, I would encourage each other not to try to dox each other on the chat. Uh, we will be moderating the chat for this round, and if you are doing so, we're probably gonna have to invite you to leave. <laughs> Um, so we're looking, uh, we're looking here. Miranda uh, is. We saw this positioning before when we had him on stream. We can go. Uh, he can go forward here, and a lot of times he's done a three bank and then drop clusters here. But I don't think he can because of that no, debris. Of the debris, yeah. So um, it looks like he's even checking <coughs> for that right now. Yeah, he wants it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So he, he did a what a two straight or a three straight? Uh, that was a two. Two. Yeah, look, yeah, it looked like a two. Uh, he could do. He could maybe fit a two hard in here to drop a at least get one onto uh, your. But I'm not sure. Do we? Do you think that you would want to start go ahead and dropping bombs um, against stuff uh, that's um, that's just beefy and is, I mean it's fine taking some damage. I mean that's kind of why it's there. Well, maybe that's what Joel's trying to bait out. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Please give me your bombs. Give me your bombs, and then quick draw an Inquisitor can be safe if. If the clusters are gone, for instance, or there's only one set, yep. it's a lot less scary. Yep. And I'm sorry, I, I missed two of the Twitch Prime people that just uh, subscribed. I think one of them was Yukagi, and there was one more. Thank you so much Sozin. for... Sozin. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining up uh, <laughs> on Twitch Prime. It's really, really, really appreciated, and it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Warm fuzzies. So I like, I like Joel's positioning here, actually. He has the Inquisitor in a spot where she can he can start plinking away mm -hmm. at at uh, at some shields here. Well, I would be worried for the next turn that um, Miranda may be able to fit in that too hard and then too bank and drop bombs in his path. This oh. is what he loves doing. He loves uh, using that EI bomb on Miranda, and he's done it to two people on stream already. Did we get that one? Uh, thank you, Garsh Chilar. <laughs> yeah, Gar Garshala. Garshala Jr. Yeah, Garchilla Chil Garchilla Jr. for subscribing. Um, really, really appreciate your support. And you know what, Dion? Yes. Do we have any like GSP tokens we can give out just to raffle these people who are being so generous with their time to s sign up for a Twitch Prime? Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what? We are, we're going to raffle off a full set of Gold Squadron podcast templates uh, to one of our awesome Twitch Prime subscribers. You can also get those templates by becoming a, uh, a patron at the top level. Um, I'm going to be opening up uh, the patron um, top level here in... A couple minutes. I will let you know when that is done. I just got to click a couple buttons because I know some people were asking for it. And uh, we can open up some of those top slots. So we saw some of these beautiful acrylics made by Curled Paul in the last match. But uh, I t can tell you in person they have great weight. Um, they're actually accurate. And 
Um, <laughs> there's something that I, I, I personally would love having. So sign up for that Twitch Prime. It takes like no time. It really helps Dion out uh, to try to mitigate some of these travel costs. And it, it, you get the chance of winning these great acrylics that and I think someone sold them on eBay for like a buck fifty so far. Or sorry, a hundred fifty dollars so far. Wow, really? So, yeah. yeah. So I need to start charging more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was seriously though, uh, having uh, having the content that uh, that Gold Squadron provides is just awesome, um, and uh, uh, you should probably subscribe to his Twitch channel. Yep. And speaking of content, I'm happy to announce that come the weekend of February 17th, uh, Cascade Games is hosting another system open at, in Portland, Oregon. So if you're available and you're around, sign up on Monday or Tuesday of this week with Cascade Games. Uh, and we'll see you in Portland, Oregon. All right, so we got Quick Draw here firing. It's that like is three hits yep. onto Miranda. It's a good, good opening salvo. Uh, looks like a blank and maybe a focus. Uh, looks like he's just going to go ahead and strip all three. Ready? No, where'd my window go? There it is. And that is a truly suboptimal beginning for our pal bases. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, we saw. Joel on the rocks last week, last week, last podcast uh, against uh, uh, Nami. Four dice primary from Miranda into your. Uh, looks like it's just going to be uh, three hits. Oh, no, it's going to go for the reroll. Gets an evade. Yep. So, so it's going to be shield. three shields off your and three shields off Miranda. So Inquisitor here might be able to plink some damage mm -hmm. through the shields. Yeah, oh, if, yeah. If, he can, if he can get some, uh, and this is probably where you palp a crit, honestly, um, just to go ahead and get Miranda on the rocks already. Oh, that, oh, that was Nimshot, excuse me, sorry. That's pretty optimal. Okay. So that's hit, hit, focus. Okay, it looks like he's TLTing with Miranda. Auto thruster safe. Thanks so much, uh, BMF. 153 for subscri subscribing on Twitch Prime. Uh, going to regen a shield. So Miranda uh, did not roll too three. many dice because <coughs> Moran. Yep. Oh, on defense. I'm not sure. No, because of the rock. Yeah, Miranda didn't roll too many dice on defense because of the rock. And it looks like uh, Yor has a range one shot on Miranda. Uh, Palpin a crit. Every time. Ooh, Ooh a lot that, of, there's a lot some of paint, paint there. Uh, that is three hits and a crit. Ooh, that's that's that, really bad for Miranda. She that's gets an evade. evade. She All gets right. an evade. Two shields. Is he reaching for that damage deck? Uh, looks yes. like it. That's a crit. Uh, Can't quite make that, that out. Is well, failure? Uh, that was a major explosion. Okay. Beautiful. Into. Okay. Uh, this is the kind of opening that Joel needed yeah. in order to be aggressive. This is a great opening. Console fire. Oh, wow. Um, here, Dion, we're going to have to – and, and uh, you have to remind me on our next uh, – and the next styles, we have a lot of people to thank on Twitch Prime. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, so we're at dials now. Real quick, um, I did just open up 20 s slots in the uh, top slot of the Patreon. I know some people were asking. And I'm going to open up 10 more on the uh, the top, the tippy top. Uh, I know people like like uh, the perks that are there. Oh, Let's scroll this up. And we're going to... Uh, Thanks some people here for subscribing to Twitch Prime. Thanks. So BMF153, thank you so much. And then also a huge thanks to uh, Foxhound, uh, Swordchuck, and there are a couple others. It looks like Aiken, MP Aiken Emperors 21. Yeah. Yeah. That's Adam Kempers. Oh, yeah. thanks a bunch, Adam. Uh, I think there was one more that I missed. Thrawn885, thank you so much. And great name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, that was an incredible opening opening round of combat for Joel. Um, getting Miranda down to three hull and getting a console fire in with a major explosion. Um, 
Uh, no damage done besides uh, three shields onto your. Uh, and uh, we're, it's looking um, uh, pretty good um, for a solid, uh, solid Miranda kill. Um, hopefully within maybe the next two turns for Joel. And um, so she can't reach in it all away. Um, that was a very, very nice uh, opening engagement, trading shields for two hull into Miranda. Yeah. Uh, so, so now we know Yor can pull stress. So we're not, so quick draw is not too worried about the stress from the debris field. But because he has no shields, Joel can't do his debris shenanigans. Uh, Wait, with uh, he, has, he has shields. No, he uh, has quick shields. Draw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shields were taken off of uh, uh, your. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So he, he is still shenanigans. Has two. Yeah. He is still shenanigans eligible then. Yeah. Uh, I, I, think the, um, I think the right call here is honestly probably um, go ahead and take Inquisitor <laughs> disengage again and do a one hard and just bug out um, because you, you really need to make sure that um, that Miranda can't just bomb him off the board yeah. with Sabine because now, now this is where where bomblet generator and all the auto damage from uh, from AC's list really uh, really takes hold. And what I think we're going to see is Miranda is probably going to do one of his uh, movement and then e uh, slam and then uh, EI bomb runs. Uh, yep. that, that we've come to know him so well for. And possibly a too hard in with Nim to a harpoon the Inquisitor. Because what I think had happened is even if the Inquisitor peels off towards the quick draw, all those ships are still going to be in range one of each other. And uh, it he could, could cause some issues. He could peel off to the right uh, if he wants and come around the long way, which might be the better, might be the better choice there. Yeah. Um, I know Joel is going to want to press. The, I mean, he has his dials down already. He's going to want to press this advantage. The fact that all the shields are down. Quick draw with a good shot before can, uh, can could, just could just kill her, take, yep. her, take her off the table. Well, and I, I think the one straight here off quick draw is probably the right way to go because um, York can take the um, York can take it. Then you maybe even to get a double tap out of quick draw, mm -hmm. um, and then you can barrel roll. Um, before uh, and, and make sure you have Archon Miranda if she tries to slam away. Right. And, and AC Jaeger, what he's trying to do right now, he's trying to figure out how do I make sure that my Miranda doesn't die? Like yeah. That, that's yeah. where he is right if, now. If Miranda goes down this turn or the next turn, I, I don't think that Nim can pull it out. No. And it's really easy to, because uh, I'm seeing some criticism in chat about AC Jaeger's opening engagement, but you have to remember, AC has probably gotten some intel from his uh, colleague about playing Jewel from the last game. And Joel kind of surprised all of us because instead of inch warming out with that uh, shuttle, he, he came out and yeah. engaged. Yep. So he probably was trying to set up the trajectory simulator, but uh, Joel just came out way too fast yep. for that to actually work. Yeah, no bombs have been dropped already. So and that's whenever that's happening against a list like this, uh, w like Joel's, that's an advantage. You're like, yes. sweet, I haven't taken any bombs yet. Yep. And, and real quick right now, I'd like to give a huge thanks to I'm Randy, uh, the Mo Beast, and Neo Saturn for signing up for Twitch Prime. Uh, oh. This is this is, uh, this is is really generous of everyone Ooh. for using your taking your time to do this for us, and we really appreciate it. So Miranda is going to be taking a stress. Yep. So, so no no damage. Nope. Um, can't, uh, can't drop a bomb. Can't EI it, but he's trying to reposition to come around, unless there's some debate over whether that fits or not. Well, no, he, he definitely hit the debris. He's, like, straight on it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 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 Um, and Brent was actually – no, I, that wasn't Brent. That was uh, – That was Bobby. Bob, that was Bobby Vowles uh, handling the movement for us there. And we got to roll the dice for the uh, – for the, for the damage. Here it comes. Uh, no it's damage. It's a blank. blank. Uh, now, if Joel actually saw him doing that, I mean, did, did you get Sloop here and just give uh, give your double uh, – put him on his max just so he can uh, do it? Wow. Oh, okay. man. It Go seems Joel – <laughs> Joel knew something. He, he had a risk, feeling. <laughs> high, high risk, high reward yep. move by Joe. Joel. Because if, if Miranda had done that too hard, too uh -huh. forward, drop the bombs, that's Inquisitor going through all the yes. cluster mines. Yeah, that is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so obviously Joel felt that, that he probably wasn't going to do that. Um, Winner. <laughs> it's not how the force works. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm a little concerned because that movement, that two bank by AC has me thinking that uh, – AC may have bumped. Yeah, he's going for the bump on uh, Nim to set up the arc on the 
on the quiz. Well, he'll, he he'll, he's not the quiz. Sorry, uh, quick draw. So that looks like an look intentional like bomb. I think. So G the new genius says that you can't you can't have overlapped, right? No, no. So you can't. Bunk. We are safe. We are genius safe. Uh, that that ship looks like it should be a little more. Um, well, let, let's wait. We have judges yeah. there. They're looking at it. Yeah. I had thought he was trying to get Ark on the quick draw, not the Inquisitor, but it looks like his... He's got Ark on both, yeah. Target of concern, yeah. Joel and is... And there's the sloop. Wow. Holy How did Joel call... Crap. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That what? Can we can we talk about how <laughs> ballsy <laughs> of a move that was? He said, I will... I'll bet that he's not going to drop the bombs Joel on me. Joel says, I don't believe you. Okay, so thi honestly, this is where you pout the crit. <laughs> this is... This is... Yeah. Wow! Yeah, yeah, you get two. You can get two shots into Miranda. Right can here. we can we talk Dude. about the sea change of Joel's play his style from Nami's came to this? Yeah. Like, from I am the most cautious, risk adverse <laughs> player against the harpoons to let's do this. I'm rolling dice. Let's play craps. <laughs> wow! That is, is an incredible move by Joel. He's, and he's and, got the target. And, and chat sees this. Chat's target everyone's going. Oh my god! Here and we're with you right now. He's got target lock focus because of optics and because of fire control system. Um, uh, giving the giving the stress to Yor. Yep. Uh, um, he's gonna roll for it. Yor is stressed out Let's now. See. Now is we gotta see if Joel's luck uh, oh, consists. Oh, he's not gonna palp it. Okay. He'd rather just save the health. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's but fair. you know he's he's daring Nim to shoot quick draw. Yeah. That's what oh, he's doing. Oh yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, because it. it uh, Nim definitely bumped your this turn. Council fire, that's a hit. Ooh, yeah, Miranda's dead this turn. When your for when your point fortress is on fire, this is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Now and it's literally on fire. Yes. <laughs> now, now Miranda is going to get that extra die for the debris, but it's ooh. not going to matter. She doesn't have any mods. He needs to throw natties. We've got four dice, target lock focus. There's no way. I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, all the paint. He's all the pain in the world. He's trying to figure out whether he wants to save the focus or not. No, you s he no, re-rolled the focus. Yep. And there you go. And it pays off. He's, he's thinking whether he wants to spend that one focus for that one extra hit. And yep, he does. It. That's Just the right move. I want to guarantee. That's yeah. what you do. That's the right move. Yep. Miranda is off the board. Wow. Be because it, at the worst case scenario, a quiz can't solo that Batwing Nim. So yep. So you know what? I'm wondering. So AC Jaeger probably comes to this game and says, "All right, we have a two-hour final. This this uh, Imperial player can be can be cautious and take his time." Joel comes out and says, "No, I'm gonna punch you in the <laughs> mouth." <laughs> he, he's he's channeling some of me right now. Yeah, this is <laughs> wow. Uh, four he, dice into quiz, or a quick draw. Into sorry. quick draw. So. This quick draw wasn't built to be the the type to chase down something like the Inquisitor. It's it's built to 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 throw a bunch of bombs out at the beginning and die. Uh, the late game ship was the po Point Fort Fortress Miranda, and it, it's 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 a, this is a very large hill for AC to try to climb right now. So here is Inquisitor, uh, three hits into Nim. All three are Ooh. going through. So man, what? this is this is not looking good for AC Jaeger right now. So going down to two there, um, and we I need to up a damage update on quick draw. I will go check out. <coughs> Dion, I know that we, the action has been so exciting right now, uh, but we got to take some time to thank our sponsors. Uh, Andrew just left for a second, but why don't you talk to us a little bit about the Patreon real quick? Yeah, so um, you can go to. You took one damage. No, took no damage. No damage. Wow. So uh, you can go to Patreon.com/slash/GoldSquadron. I just opened up. Uh, about 30 tiers at the top uh, that you get like templates and cards and all this kind of stuff. A lot of people want those, uh, and also you get uh, you get the swag faster than other people. So um, so that's open. You can become a Twitch Prime subscriber, which a bunch of people were doing. Thank you so much, and, by the way. And a huge thank you to that. Uh, I will say, I, I, you know, I I debated whether I would talk about this or not, and I figured I'd just just be upfront about it. To get here, it cost. Uh, I had already spent money like on airplane tickets. But it was a plus nine hundred dollar expense yeah. to get here today. Last minute ticket. That last minute ticket. Um, th our uh, wireless hotspot was not functioning, so we had to purchase another buck fifty. Another yeah, on, on top of that. So it was, 
in expense, and I just want to say a huge thank you to my patrons and anybody who becomes a patron in the future, because I want to let you know that I'm putting that money to work, uh, because X-Wing players want content, and I'm here to give it. And speaking of uh, our patrons and sponsors, Andrew, thank you so much for providing us the ability to do this with your sponsorship. Uh, we're, we're revealing dials, but when we come back from the action, let's talk a little bit about Colonel Paul's and everything that you're able to make. All right, so we got um, Captain Yor here going too forward, getting rid of some of that stress, staying close, yep. um, so that we can we can still do some shenanigans like uh, yeah, you, yeah. you were saying <laughs> earlier. Um, I mean, because Quick Draw has that sloop to the I, right. I think he's going to sloop again this turn to yep. go ahead. Which is why he didn't do the self bump with yep. the forward one. Yep. Uh, Inquisitor saying, I think I don't need to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think this is uh, probably not my game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Now, now the 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 Nim does still have a bomber generator. Uh, it, it obviously we normally see Nim right now use uh, T, T trajectory sim simulator to use to, to throw bomblets. Yep. Uh, but right now he's pretty good bombing position. It's just from here going forward, he's going to deal with be dealing with night fighters, and he's not equipped to fight night fighters. Um, or at least no, this loadout isn't. Especially when he doesn't have auto blaster turret on. Um, and, uh, I mean, without without being able to regen, uh, it's going to be a, a one heck of an uphill battle uh, for AC. And SJPA X-Wing, I know who that is. Thank you so much, Brian, for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. Uh, Brian is one of the... He's the guy who keeps everything together in Philly. And we, I... I'm so really thankful for, for this. For here's that a help. Tra trajectory simulator bomb. It's free, so why not do it and hope that Quick Draw did something uh, that brings him close to the bomb? Yeah. Um, so, what would have what what would catch Quick Draw in a weird spot would be if he slooped to the left. Yeah. So that would get get him and force him to use the barrel roll because right now, uh, Quick Draw doesn't have a focus. Yep. From optics because he spent it to yep. uh, to kill Miranda. So looking, at it, it looks like he may have clipped that debris, but uh, no, it looks like it looks like he's still he's got some space. He's yeah. got it. Um, he's maybe debating the barrel roll. Yeah. If he barrels to the right, he blocks the sloop and and takes get, gets a turn. He's like a turn to breathe, reposition, and then you start putting uh, quick draw in bomblet range. You start yeah. shimmying, shimmying him around and dropping those bombs. Well, and it may even just be a one bank out of Joel. Um, if you feel if you felt like he uh, Nim was gonna just kind of uh, too hard out. I think the decision making process for us right now is uh, AC is trying to think whether he should play a little more recklessly too, and he's trying to figure out if he wants to target a lot for that next round. Uh, he needs to he needs to ace something, and that's why he I think he wants up. Oh, and yeah, he does have the target lock in hand. He does he's have. He's doing it. Yeah, he's got yeah. harpoon missiles on Nim, so yeah. he knows like that's gonna be a big deal if he can get that off oh, at some point. He's picking it up. Yeah. The, so the barrel roll isn't necessarily a no-brainer because that is the safe move, but AC cannot play safely right now no. because he needs to ace something. I mean, he Miranda only shot one time. No, he takes the focus. That's a very s surprising uh, focus. Well, I mean, it, you can use it on and defense. Looks or like there's the sloop again. So he, yep. let's uh, probably have a judge do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like Brandon's uh, Bobby's Bobby's doing the movement for us again. Yep. And we're using a ship marker made by Curl Paw <laughs> Creatives <laughs> to get that ship out of the way. There, there's, there's so this much is stuff all on organic. Honestly, we didn't plant these <laughs> things. They're just popping up. <laughs> I swear, I promise. Well, Stop. it does help that Joel is from our local store, and we do run a podcast together. So he does have pretty much all of my stuff. And Stab Jim, Stab Jimar, Stab Jim. Yeah, let's go with Stab R Jim. Thank you so much for being a Twitch Prime subscriber. And, oh. and I want to say some, one thing. Like, uh, AC Jaeger has played really well in this tournament. I know that he's down a ship, but... Uh, this is the second I, ship he's lost. In the third ship. The, the third, third, third ship, ship total. Um, but I know, uh, like, I don't think he was riding a combo. Like, you can't go 6-0 and oh at a system open and then win two rounds of... of uh, high-level play. Of high-level play in the cut and say that it was, it was riding a combo. He is... Playing, he has played really, really well, and just if, if we're being honest, to get Miranda, Joel outplayed him yeah. in this turn, and that's what happens in a game. And yeah. there's you, you, if you make in that moment a better decision than your opponent, you're you're out ahead. Yeah. Uh, so so he, uh, he did fit the sloop. 
So I can accept taking the target lock to set up a reckless, not a reckless, a Hail Mary shot next round. And I can accept a barrel roll to block the boost. I don't know if I can accept that focus right there. Yeah, it, that was that was an interesting choice. I mean, I guess well, he's just have, trying to make sure that he doesn't take any damage. But I think the barrel roll would have been a better choice. Well, a uh, but a, a range one shot on quick draw here. Yep, he's going to get that. You can't do anything about that. Now here's Joel. Uh, that good is good amount of paint. That is two hits. And that's, that's going to establish the fire control system. And it uh, looks like that focus pays off. There you go. And that's going to be one. Uh, shield off of Nim. And Joel does remember to use the target locks, which are brought by our sponsor, Curl and Paul. <laughs> I think you just TLT your here. Oh, well, going for uh, going for quick draw. Interesting. Or uh, Inquisitor, excuse yeah, me. Quick. Well, he doesn't have any tokens. Yeah. So uh, Do just why you can, I guess. Just auto thrusters. It looks oh. like we got one paint there only. Uh, it looks like no paint. Uh, it didn't matter. Yeah. That's something. And just one. And auto thrusters. There we go. Yeah, you can see uh, AC Yeager's body language is starting to change here. Yeah, yeah, he's he, he's I, definitely against uh, definitely on the ropes here. I'd love to know what he's listening to because AC's got that World Series of Poker look going on with the headphones. He uh, just needs sunglasses to, yeah. to have the whole gamut. Uh, you know, what? I might start playing with sunglasses. Like, ah, you can't look where I'm looking now because you don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> just where I have I have like my grandfather's old like uh, cataract black ones. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and during this lull in this planning phase, Andrew, can you tell us a little about the processes and how you make your work so precise and nice looking? Uh, well, you know, um, uh, especially with templates and obstacles and stuff like that, that actually needs to be incredibly accurate. Um, uh, you know, I, I go through a lot of different revisions of measuring, remeasuring, testing, remeasuring. Uh, calipers are always always available at, my <laughs> at, uh, at our shop. And then... Uh, um, we pretty much uh, only, uh, uh, really only, like put stuff on the shop until it's 100% done. I try not to make revisions after it's after it started there. Luckily, my robot slave, the laser, actually does most of the work. So, so yeah, I mean, they're so they're they're precise, they're accurate, they look nice, and not only that, not only are they X Wing centric, they're FFG centric. We have yeah. L5R, we have those awesome fate tokens, the Amazing honor and dishonor tokens. I have some destiny stuff too, as well. But uh, L5R has been a really popular, yeah, uh, and, and really so cool game. I think you had posted that you sold your, um, for your acrylic provider out of the pink. Yes, yeah, acrylic. We, we had to completely change um, the fate token color because our acrylic provider doesn't Could, provide it anymore. He couldn't keep up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't keep up with demand. So, um, and, and real quick. Um, <laughs> So our sponsor has also become a Twitch Prime subscriber. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He's like, oh, I did. Oh, and then uh, N3 Home also became a Twitch Prime. Thank you. And to that end, guys, thank you so much for making this such a successful broadcast. We're at over 600 listeners right now. Uh, Andrew's ecstatic because his products are getting out there. His, <laughs> I, his boy is out here. there on, 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 the, on the stream. This is, this is big acrylic at its best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's look at this game here. So Yor is uh, banking in up there. Uh, I mean, he's taking time off. He's like, you know what? I'm just palp now. Yep. This is, this is who I am. Yep, that's it, all he's there. I'm going to provide support for my ships. Uh, Inquisitor in a – I'm that, curious that to see what he – aggressive. I mean, it, it is aggressive, but at the same time, he's in a pretty safe spot. Um, like, AC Jaeger could too hard and, and Genius Trajectory Simulator. That's probably but what it, I would but do. It's, but it's two dice. Yeah. You can palp one of them. Um, yeah, he's you gonna, can he's palp those, can't you? Yeah, because you're the person who rolls yeah. them. The, 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 the die. Yep. Purple uh, person like being he's bomb. dropping a bomb behind him just to catch quick draw here. I may have, I may have used that Genius right uh, at, well. Talon roll. I think this is what. Yeah, that's that's probably the talent roll right there. See, and that's why this the focus from last round is even more curious because if he knew he was silent in that talent roll, then this is the position where you want to target lock and harpoon uh, our, our friend the quick draw. Yep. Oh. Quick draw wouldn't be surprised if we see him just get out of dodge. He can't. Uh, if he just does like a two hard to the right, I think that might clear. Uh, one one bank. bank right over the bomb. But uh, it doesn't really matter uh, to Joel because if it, if he gets some damage on it, he's just going to double tap this yep. turn. Does he get the stress though? Mm, uh, uh, I yours think he's will ooh, yours pretty far. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if he's in range. This is 
Uh, yep. Oh, he's got it. Uh, so uh, quick draw is probably just going to go ahead and focus up here. Or do, does a barrel roll back bring him into range one of of Nim? I focus. I think that uh, charging up that advanced optics might be. Oh, 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 he takes. He's like, wait a minute. Oh, he's rolling for the damage. Yeah, that matters. It's just a hit. Yep. And then focus. All right. So it looks like we're gonna have uh, probably a bomb go off here. Oh, he's having that one explode. Oh no. Okay. Keeping that one up. Yep. Uh, Rebel Nim says that you um, can prevent friendly bombs from going off. Here's the bomb going off on quick draw. We're going to have two dice. Joel is debating whether or not to palp. He's going to palp something. I don't think he would palp a hit on himself. Palps a blank. So one goes through. That means he's going to be losing a shield. And here comes quick draw. Here comes the pain. All righty. So watch this while they update the... Uh, looks like uh, double two, paint. Yeah, two hits. Uh, one damage. shield. Yeah, uh, one so damage. got an evade out of the uh, uh, out of his dice there. So one shield off Nim. And yeah, Nim is now officially shieldless. Uh, well, now Quick Draw is shooting again. Yep. Because it's, uh, it's her turn, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Uh, looks like some more paint. Looks like a crit in there. Oh, no, re-rolling. Focus. So focus. To a hit. And debating on to spend that. Yeah, go ahead and spend it. There you go. Two hits. That is a focus, and we're focusless. So we're, we've gotten into Nim's hole. Yep. Nim's three sitting hole at left. three hole. Wow. Uh, the, this and this game is running and, away. And then the Inquisitor has a follow-up range one. Yep. The chances of uh, of Nim living through this turn are fairly low. Man, that harpoon missile you were talking about. I know it was Harrow Mary, but I th that could have that could have maybe at least swung the game a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, plenty of dice. Uh, it's just more TLTs. TLTs. And it uh, looks like he takes a shield off a quick draw. Yep. And here's Inquisitor. Let's see if uh, let's see if uh, Quiz can just kind of wrap can this the up. Can Inquisitor do it? Looks like it he's got range three through a rock. But at range one. So um, Nim has three dice. On average, you only really get one evade here. So Nim only gets two dice because it's range one. Oh, you're right, you're right. It's oh, but it's ooh, only one hit. Uh, fairly low, uh, two hits. Yeah. Swaps out dice. That is an evade and a blank. He's taking one. All right, AC's got to keep on using those dice because they're a lot more friendly. <laughs> <laughs> dice don't have emotions. <laughs> Mobius272, thank you so much for joining with the Twitch Prime program. Uh, really, really appreciate that. And uh, after the game, if you guys can stick around, because we're going to be giving away a ship sponsored by Curl Paw Creatives. And uh, we're going to be giving away your choice of a ship from Wave 12 or 13. So if I am AC right now, my, I, know my, I know my desire is to chase down Quickshaw. But I think if he does that, he's playing right into the hands of the Inquisitor. Uh, because he's at two hull left. He's more than likely going to have to spend a focus on quick draw shot. We're talking about target lock focus Inquisitor. That's a highly efficient ship uh, against Nim's one die. Alrighty. So, I mean, what... So let's let's give AC Yeager a win condition here, right? So he has to. He, I, know, I know it's tough, but he has enough firepower to do something surprising, right? If he can get that harpoon missile off, get get a couple crits to lay in, right? Yeah. He might be able to take out quick draw. He needs a blinded pilot. Right. He, oh, oh my God, a blinded pilot would be money right now. Um, uh, the the issue with that is is just uh, you know quick draw is going to get to shoot him first. Before, uh, yep. Uh, before the harpoon could even go off, and the chances of him rolling full string is quite high. But I, you know, honestly, it's it's not over till it's over. Yep. And uh, the inquisitor, inqu inquisitor, <laughs> is uh, is biting at his heels there. Yep. Um, just uh, just closing in as the as the inquis inquisitor does. 
So AC Yeager, his ships never left that that top that top third of the mat. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I want to talk to both players because I'm curious to see what the opening thoughts were. Um, it's it seemed like it, like we mentioned earlier that I think AC Yeager expected Joel to play more patient. Yeah. And Joel called that. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go aggressive and um, go as aggressive as you can. Uh, and remove Miranda as fast as you possibly can, and, so, and Joel did just that. So if Joel ends up winning this game, he's undefeated. Undefeated at San Antonio. Yes, like he like impressive. Um, he he won on Friday, and uh, uh, right now the the cards are stacked pretty hard, pretty high in his favor. I mean, Timo, you're probably right. I'm just trying. You know, I try to look at both sides. Like, is there a way? Is there a way? Because, I mean, AC, I mean, AC Aker hasn't scooped, right? Like, he, no. has, he hasn't, yeah. like, walked away or no, anything. He's, he's going to try. When you're at this level of competition, you don't, you don't concede. Right. You just play it out. I mean, even if you only have one, two hull left on, on Nim on a one agility ship versus three full hull ships almost. Rebellions were built on hope. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like he trajectory simulated a bomblet. Yep. Um, trying to maybe catch uh, Quick Draw. Um, but Quick Draw still has one shield left, so I'm pretty sure Joel won't really mind as long as uh, he doesn't roll a hit crit in there and possibly get like a blinded pilot or something. Yep. This, so this is what AC Jaeger wants. Yeah. He wants the bomb to hit. He wants it to hit for two. Uh, he wants uh, Joel to whiff on his shot twice. Yep. And then have an <laughs> opportunity to harpoon. A quick draw. I know it sounds far fetched, but that's what he wants. Like there is a there is, there is a, a small per chance yeah. for that to happen. Is See, look, he's he's in harpoon. I, if it's a sloop, that's it is worse. Is okay, so so Joel, this is a great move because he's not on that rock. He clears that, and Yor will take the stress. Yours gonna take the stress. Target lock focus. I mean, Come Joel, at me, bro. Yeah, Joel sees the hypothetical win condition that yeah. AC has, and he yeah. says, "Yeah, I'll, 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 play I'll, I'll too. see that, and I'll <laughs> raise you a quick draw." Well, yeah, because he's he's de he's decreasing AC Jaeger's chances by adding two more dice into these attacks. Yep. So we have that triggers on two, right? On both. Uh, no, Yor. I think I think Yor was just out. Just so. out. Okay. Rolling for quick draw. That's uh, pain. Like that's two. Damage. two. And he didn't uh, see. He see. Look, this is the beginning of the win condition. I'm not saying it's going to happen, <laughs> but there was a possibility. It. It. it but that's that's and round or that's uh, part one of win condition. Now right. See. <laughs> no debris, but it is range three. Big roll here. That's a, a lot, lot of a paint. lot of paint. That's a lot of paint. So this is not part of the win condition. This no, is not this is not part of the win condition. <laughs> he at spends all. it. Going he ahead spends and spend it, it, which is the right move. Right. This uh, is not I think how the range two. To go. I don't think that there's any way that he can survive this. Oh no, it was range three. Okay. Yeah. Range three. That's the game. And that's it. That's the game. Oh. And now Joel Killingsworth is now the system. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. No, oh, sorry. You, you uh, go ahead. <laughs> now, so go ahead. Your uh, boy. He went undefeated. 15 games for the whole weekend. He has now won a full ride pretty much to course on invitational in October um, one heck of a run um, for the Barons this is Andrew this is Peter thank you <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for joining us today um, what we're going to do um, is I am going to collect a list of names there is a way for me to do this who is watching the podcast the show give me a minute there it, it is you, viewer list and what I'm going to do is I'm taking all your names right now, and I'm going to throw it in an Excel sheet, and we're going to do a random number generator to see who wins a random, or not a random ship, but your choice of ship. Why is this not working? <laughs> oh, it's because you're trying to do it live. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's like, well, Gian, you know, while you're working on that, yep. I just want to thank everyone from the Philly, New Jersey, and New York area for tuning into this. I received all, all of your messages of support, and I'm sure Dion's received his messages of support from Chicago. Um, thanks for watching Sarah, uh, my fiance, for letting me come out to play. Uh, <laughs> she's really the boss, and the boss uh, actually let me come. So, And also to my good friend Dion. I mean, my man braved a lot of things to get here. 
uh, and spent out a good good piece of coin to, to be here as well. So well, it was one of those things where I, you know, I, I love the community. I want to make sure that we can get the absolute best for our people. And um, I, I try I try to do that. Oh, that's not going to work. Hold on a second. I wish you guys could see all the pre-production work that went into, goes into doing something like this because uh, while I chipped in every now and then, Dion uh, sat down, did a lot of the proofing, did a lot of the aggregation, went out and found the sponsors to make this possible. So there's just so it's, it's not just about talking. And a lot of people uh, see something like this and they, hey, I, I could talk for an hour and a half for seven rounds. One, that's it's not as easy as you think. But two, there's so much going in behind the uh, curtain. Uh, and you, just, just even with setup. So I even know how cool this. Okay, so what we're going to do is for some reason my Twitch is not letting me export a list of names. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> These boys are watching me going like, this is so sad. Um, I'm going to try. Just control all the entire window. I tried. I tried. It did not work. Um, so, I'm so sad. I'm trying so no, hard. He, he is trying pretty hard. <laughs> This is, this is like a this is like a barroom joke. A, a white guy. It, uh, it's because he's trying to do this on live live <laughs> yeah. stream right yeah. now. Um, is why it's not working. That's just a guarantee. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do this the old school way. Um, Andrew, close your eyes. Okay. And tell me when to stop, and I'll just stop on a name. And he's going up and down. Up and down so the not, list. It's, so it's, it's not like it. Not Dude, like anyone. Stop. Oh, it is. Davin Felth twenty three. Suter Felth finally won something. <laughs> Dave, I'm pretty sure if you go back to like a couple waves back, he would have won a lot more stuff. <laughs> so, Dave and Felt, uh, 23, you just won uh, your choice of ship of wave 12 or 13. Here's the catch. You got to be listening. Yeah, you have to be here, actually. <laughs> you got to be actually here. Hopefully, your computer's not just on. You have a couple of minutes to uh, to get your prize. Otherwise, we'll raffle it off again. So um, that's a fair amount of time. Yeah. Two minutes, three minutes. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Here oh, he is. Oh, he found him. <laughs> All right. There you go. So, uh, David Felf, do me a favor. Um, go and give me a PM through Twitch, and we'll take care of that. Um, I want to thank my patrons for doing this. If you want to become a patron, go to patreoncom squad and just open up a bunch of the top slots. Uh, if you want to support there. Um, Become a become a Twitch Prime subscriber to throw a couple bucks, especially if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, it costs you nothing. Let's talk to our champion, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take take some uh, take some space here. T sit down. You're <laughs> take a chair, sir. And here he is, champion Joel, chair. the Killingsworth. There you go. Hello. All right. So, Joel, how you mm -hmm. feeling? Uh, overwhelmed. Over. <laughs> So you know, um, opening in this game, uh, when I was when I was talking to you, right? We were just kind of chit chatting, and when we came here and talked about commentary, we said, you know, Joel has Imperials, and if he wants to, he can play it patient. So what I was thinking is like, I wonder if AC Yeager thought he might be playing this patiently. You came out balls to the walls, though. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, you came out super aggressive. You called a lot of the things he was going to do. the The first three sloop you did behind Miranda to get that mm -hmm. range one shot, the, the the chat, we flipped out. We were just like, oh, my God, the dream. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I mean, tell me, what are some of the thoughts that went through your head during the game? Well, I had the advantage of uh, him having played this matchup earlier uh, yesterday, and so I was able to, to see and get reports of how he had approached the matchup and that he was fairly aggressive with jousting the shuttle trying to get harpoons off. And so you um, had real life intelligence. Agents. Yeah, so I got I got intelligence. And so <laughs> I figured he would try the same thing again. And so I went in slow to make sure I had the range and then aggressive to try to close the distance so that he didn't have the, the harpoon engagement that he wanted. That was so exciting. And, and t towards the end, we were trying to figure out a hypothetical universe where AC had a had a win condition and mm -hmm. all of those r r roads pointed to him harpooning you your quick draw. Did you just just know that's what he was going to do, and that's why you, you did the bank at the very end? Uh, at the very end, I, I no longer cared if Quick Draw lived or died, okay. <laughs> because the Inquisitor can solo him if he's below half health. And um, so I was just trying to get Ark. 
That so was all I was doing. I gotta say, you, so you won the uh, Hyperspace qualifier two days ago. Yeah. And now you win the System Open. You look exhausted, but the rich, <laughs> <laughs> but the rich get richer here. How, how did you do it this week? And well, how did you prepare? What did you do? What did you eat? I mean, Heaver's uh, got the peanuts. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's it's the the timing of caffeine, right? Yeah. So you don't take caffeine too early, and uh, I almost took it too late yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I was really dragging in the, the, the second round of the second pod yesterday. Um, but, uh, you know, a little use of stimulants, a lot of preparation. <laughs> we uh, flew, I flew that list as much as I could over the last month or so. Um, I flew into gunboats a lot. I was really lucky with getting a lot of gunboat matchups uh, over the last couple of days. Okay. And um, the, the list isn't, isn't by any means... Uh, have an, an auto win against that but it has game against it and mm -hmm. i knew what the game was so joel someone from your squad called you southern fried duncan so what, what was that <laughs> southern <again>? fried duncan <laughs> <laughs> but you won a system open this year yeah. who's the better pal bases driver now oh there's some competition <laughs> well, duncan will. he's coming for you <laughs> watch out <laughs> well my understanding is that duncan howard is going to be at the atlanta regional uh, in February, oh. and I'm going to be at the Atlanta Regional in February, so oh. we might find out. <laughs> oh, we got a call out. <laughs> there we go. He's calling you out. Put Duncan. it on the forum. Make the memes. Make them now. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, first I want to say congratulations. I know you and your boys want to go celebrate, hugs and cheers and all this stuff. Um, you're right. So here's the thing, right? So you won the hyperspace qualifier, which yeah. Peter just said. So you already had your course on invite. Yeah. You made the top eight, you're like, yay, invite number two. But you, you were playing for that full ride. Yeah. So you're in, you got all the swag, you're gonna get the trophy, your name's at the top. Mm. Um, congratulations. And FFG's happy, That's, they've saved on an international flight. They yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, it happens. So um, one thing I'm looking forward to and looking forward to seeing your progress, I know um, ever since the like I, I did I didn't know who you were until mm -hmm. I started listening to the Baron's uh, podcast. Listeners since day one, okay? I wanna let you know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh, this Joel guy seems pretty smart. I'd like to see him play. Here we go. There you go. So um, we got some great content. If you wanna learn how to play some pile paces, we have a couple matches. So um, mm -hmm. here you go. And uh, I look forward to continuing to cover your games and uh, hey, real quick, Dion. Yes. Just just so you can be the one to tell Joel, how many people were watching him on stream? That was over 600. 600 nice. eyeballs on you. Nice. And yeah. not a bad thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're like, oh, wait, watch us now. <laughs> <laughs> he stuck. That was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he should have done a barrel roll instead of focus. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. Roger, um, Roger. Your, 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 your play was also very strong there. That pun happened every match today it was insane. yeah it's like i'm gonna move your wait no you can't move my ship what okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was the hardest matchup this weekend well um it was actually the second time that i played uh jeremy chambly running uh kylo and two gunboats okay okay because uh, the first time i kind of caught him off guard and that was in the hyperspace qualifier on Friday, and then we were matched up again uh, yesterday in the the second uh, set. And he knew what to expect that time, and it was much much more difficult. Okay, well, um, we're gonna get our runner up here in a moment. I want to thank you guys for joining us, and uh, stay tuned um, so we can get an interview with our runner up. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Joe. Right. Thank you. Congratulations. So, uh, Andrew, I want you to take a seat here for a moment. Take hugs and stuff. We'll see if we can get our, uh, hey, our, our runner up here. Awesome. Dion, can you also ask him if he prefers AC or Andreas when we talk to him? Yeah. Ch ch chat the people up, Peter. All right. So, while well, I'm driving solo here, um, Dion's going to be uh, broad, uh, podcasting or streaming the next system open in Phoenix. No. The next one in the southeast, southwest. And I'll be uh, streaming at the Albuquerque Regional uh, with Chris Allen. Uh, so I look forward to seeing everyone there. 
uh, and hopefully you tune in for that one as well. It's an event being done by John Grasser, our newest uh, regional champion out of Salt Lake City. And uh, it's shaping up to be an incredible event. Uh, John Grasser has gotten so many prize support, so many people come in. I think Zach Matthews and Chris Allen will be there. Um, and I can't wait to see everyone there. That one's yours. Yes. Okay. All righty. So I'm here with a runner-up of the. No, sorry. You're good. You're good. Of the uh, uh, San Antonio System Open, AC Yeager. You you brought it all the way to the final table, man. You were undefeated all the way up until we got here. You played a great tournament. Thank you, man. Well, uh, yeah, I was hoping to make it to the final, and um, you know the. Uh, Every game I said, okay, I just need to keep going yeah. and take it one at a time. Mm -hmm. I was just really hoping not to face any Wookiees on the way yeah. because that would be my hardest matchup. Okay. Luckily for me, um, only one made it to the cut. Yeah. And another guy had to take uh, care of him, so I was very happy about it. Yeah, it was a different part of the bracket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and but, but yeah, I mean... Um, it was a very nice experience. AC, you were one of my favorite people to watch on stream all weekend. We got to stream you twice. No, three times. Three times, I think. Three times. And it was, I, I, I liked that you, you took a very professional uh, but very aggressive approach uh, for every match. Uh, every point counted. We think we only, only counted you lost like three ships through the entire weekend, which was yes. in itself a huge accomplishment. Uh, tell me more about the people you practice with, Squad 201, and how they helped shape you become such a great player. Yeah, you know, we are not a very large community down there in Mexico. First of all, because uh, just recently we got the organized place back again. Okay. Oh, sweet. So we have sweet. been struggling awesome. with that for, for the last two and a half years. Okay. So, for instance, uh, up to today, uh, I only had a chance to play against the U, the, the gunboats okay. Okay. until uh, two days ago. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I got my ships because my brother-in-law lives in Canada and he got the stuff for me. <laughs> but, I mean, generally speaking, we hadn't, we didn't have the chance to practice against those. Right. So, that was hard and I say, okay, what am I going to do? So, I have been playing Nimbiranda for a while. Actually, I used that list at our national uh, that we organize right. ourselves. And um, I didn't do it very well because I got stuck with the Wookiees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I had a little practice with it. And last week, uh, there was a regional, and one of our bodies got, got, uh, was a runner-up there. Okay. And he was playing Wookiees, and he lost the final to this same squad. The same so squad. So I had only to tweak it a little bit. Actually, he's like uh, moving uh, two, car no, one, uh, two cards and adding another two, and mm -hmm. that's it. So I said, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. I had to, to practice with uh, my friend Carlos. We, we arrived on, on Thursday. Yeah. And we played like six times at the hotel. Yeah. You know, practicing how to use these uh, long range bombs and Yeah, like the that. trajectory simulator. So luckily, I had the chance to practice it. Wow, that's awesome, man. Well, so you were telling me when, when we were chatting there, uh, you, you looked at the matchup, you set your opening, and what were some of your thoughts as soon as the, the first move started there? Yeah. Okay, so. Yesterday, I faced uh, Joel's body, yeah, and he was using about the same uh, the same bill. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'm, I'm using the same trick, which was playing very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, because most of the people say, okay, you have only one defense die, and right. you will try to evade and keep them keep the distance as much as possible. Right, which is one way to play it. I'm not saying that's wrong, but I like to play aggressive. Okay, so uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, go uh, straight and try to harpoon him mm -hmm. and throw a bomb right, right, uh, right at him. Yep. But uh, it didn't work. <laughs> he yeah. read my move very well. And instead of waiting, yeah. he went all the way to. Yeah. So when I, when I saw that he, he made a three, I said, no, this is not going to go well. I'm, <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm screwed. And, and actually, it was because both of my ships were at range one of him. Yep. And I was not going to be able to use the harpoon. Yep. And so, he, yeah. he was able to, to, to leverage the range one. And then once you were like kind of stuck by the rocks, Yes. In there with with the debris, it was it was tough. Well, we want to say you did a, a wonderful job. Amazing. Uh, uh, we're I'm sure Mexico should be proud. Yeah, thank absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely should be proud. Do you have any shout outs for anybody you want to yes, give? Yes, yes, please to all my friends from 201. Muchas gracias a todos por seguir la transmisión. Los quiero. Eh, gracias por el apoyo. Sentí esa esa buena vibra de todos. Y bueno, pues se llegó a la final. No se logró el campeonato, pero muchas gracias. All thank right. you very much, everyone, for watching. All right, have a good one. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you, AC. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic.
So uh, this was a this was a great this was a great tournament, great final. I know that we didn't go all the way to time, but I think it was fine. Both players took a, took an aggressive approach. They did what they had to do. Uh, great play. All of the matches after today will be up on our YouTube page. They won't be on Twitch. They'll be on YouTube. Uh, so I just got to click a couple buttons, and they'll be there right away for review. I'll start putting them up in short form uh, this week. Um, on Monday night, I'll be, I'll be getting home at midnight tonight, um, and uh, I'll start uploading probably probably on Tuesday. I might take might take. I already have to record the podcast on Monday, so I might take Monday off a little bit, spend some time with my wife. I might, I will be taking some time off to spend some. Uh, <laughs> we want to uh, tell you to please, um, if you want to support our content, please go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. I opened some new slots there you can jump into and start getting swag uh, pretty quickly here. You can become a Twitch Prime subscriber. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, uh, you just connect your Amazon account to Twitch. You get one free Prime subscription a month. Click the button. throws a couple bucks our way. It doesn't cost you any more money. Uh, on top of your Amazon Prime membership. I want to thank Cascade Games personally. I know in our script it's, oh, it's been Peter, but um, <laughs> I, I, wouldn't have, I couldn't be here without the help of Cascade Games. Uh, they provided electricity and, uh, and space and permission and uh, the badge to be able to get in here early uh, to set everything up. At none, none of it's possible. Uh, I look forward to continuing my work with Cascade Games, bringing you guys awesome streams. From, uh, from all the different system opens, as many as I can get to. Uh, I want to thank Peter for coming out, taking some time off, and, uh, and hanging out with me. It was really fun to cast with him. And uh, I know I'm going to miss you at the other one. I'm going to miss you too. But, <laughs> Dion, what, can I say, what a way to cap off what's been an amazing, just a great uh, experience all around, from the players to the co-host to the final match, it, it all it all climaxed and apexed at the right time. Absolutely. And, and, and Dion, I, I hope I, I, I hope from from my perspective that we at least accomplish some of our goals to you, the listener, to take a more journalistic approach to this entire format. It was really our goal. Dion, Dion was the primary driver, but I really was supported him in trying to take this new, uh, new way of approaching Premier yep. Xping at events. Uh, we're Absolutely. trying to, we're trying to cut down on the shouting and yeah. the, the and the hooting and the hollering yeah. and and I've I've never been that way. It's just sometimes you know it, the goal is we're setting a precedent here and uh, the goal is anybody who joins me in the future because I have lots of lots of X-wing friends is that uh, we can present this in as um, as unbiased as possible and uh, present it in a professional fashion uh, in order to be friendly to everybody who plays. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you're from. Uh, we're just here to talk about and show you guys X-Wing. Uh, again, we'll be back in two weeks from Glendale, Arizona um, for the system open there. I will, we, there might be a casual stream in between there. I like to throw those up once in a while. Uh, no guarantees. I, I don't know 100%. And I am next week, I'm actually be playing in the Outrider Cup. I'm trying to find out if there's internet connectivity there. The difference in that stream would be that there would be no uh, overlays or commentary because I will be playing with my team. Um, so not sure there. I'll keep you guys up to date. If you could do me a favor, follow us on Facebook, give us a like, join our discussion page, and uh, let's continue to build the X-Wing community. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message, uh, friend me on Facebook, let's chat about X-Wing, and, uh, and, and Peter too. <laughs> Peter's like, I want friends too. <laughs> and we'll continue to talk. For Peter Fu. And Dion and Morales. He said my name already. You, my, <laughs> for Dion Morales, my name is Dion Morales. <laughs> Cold Squadron, out. <laughs>